Hey guys, Shea Bear here. Last time we had this saw running, still 021, last time we ran it, it kept wanting to shut down, then finally it shut down and didn't want to start. So we're going to check the plug. Uh, I don't know, it just kind of seems like it don't have much compression. Well, it does now. But let's just uh, let's check the plug and see what it looks like. And... Um, Maybe it's fouled out, so let's dig into this. We got to get this running. Okay, so this just turns a quarter turn and that comes off. The spark plug's down in there, as you can see. So let's go ahead and take this filter out. It's not the greatest, but I can see light through it. Uh, seems to be okay. I mean, I don't. It's not. It's not to the point where it's not going to let something run. Besides, I tried to start it without this on. It wouldn't. Wouldn't start. So. Okay, that's the short plug. I got a long plug here. Uh, let me go get a short plug. So let's go ahead and pull this plug out. Let's see if it's fouled out. Looks a little dark, but let's give it a pull. Well, I don't have anything to ground it to. Uh, I'm sure it's got spark here. There's something else right down in here. There is. There's a nipple down in there. Like it's missing a line right there. I don't know what that would be for. So there's no lines on it, there's no lines broke off, there's no missing lines. I mean, you know, we're no missing spots where it should be coming off the carburetor. So I am not sure what's going on there. Um, that's the problem here. I can't. Let's um, let's stick this plug in there, and we'll see if we can get it to start. Uh, this thing does not have a primer bulb. It wasn't designed with one. So I'm not sure what that, that would be for. Not sure at all. Really? All it has is a choke. It doesn't have a throttle lock. Got the bar oil thing leaking. The plug for it's leaking. Um, Or the cap, I should say. Okay, it's got plenty of gas in it. 
that could just be a vent but I don't know why it would be wide open like that uh, let me see hang on a second guys adjust the carburetor see if we can get a little more out of it uh, let me grab a screwdriver adjust this bar we'll take it out back and see how it runs see how it cuts rather Okay, so I just need to sharpen the chain, then I think it's going to be okay. Uh, I think it was just a fouled out spark plug. Uh, sometimes that's what causes that. So, see, there you go. We got that running. Might need a, 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 a slight tweak in the carburetor yet, but that could be because the chain is all it, the the saw the chain is dull and it's only throwing out little chips. So, what we're going to have to do is, uh, well, what I'm going to have to do is uh, sharpen the chain. I actually see a tooth missing off of it. I may just put another chain on this thing. It's worth it. Uh, so, that could have a lot to do with it. This is his old chain. Looks like someone's, no, it don't have a tooth missing. All right. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sharpen it. I won't bring you along with that because that's kind of boring. So, that's what we'll do. We'll, I'll sharpen that up. I'll let you know at a later date how it's doing. 
There you go. Wasn't much wrong with it, I don't figure. Uh, the leak on the bar oil was just the cap was was loose. You got to really tighten it. So that was the problem there. So there you go, guys. Just a quick how. Just a quick little project. So we got that going. So now I can cut up stuff when it falls down. I definitely need a saw. When you got this many trees around here, you definitely need a saw. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. It's breezy out here. Blue skies. Pretty clouds. Hotter than hell, though. <laughs> Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Don't forget to check out Monkey 1000 channel, BXX32. We'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now. Much better. Going to need a chain. They're fairly reasonable. Might put a bar on it too. Sometimes you can get a kit. Sharpen this chain. 90% of the teeth were 30 degree angle. About 10% was 25 degree angle. So somebody's hit something with it at one time and never really put the edges back on it. I could take the time and do that. A lot of times it's just easier to go buy a new chain, so I'll probably get a chain for it. And uh, I like the chipper chains anyway. Just gotta be careful with them. There's a lot of kickback on them sometimes. So, uh, little tweaking on the carb, man, it'll be fine. So, thanks for watching, guys.